Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Teach Better family. It is Wednesday. My name's Jeff. That's Katie. And this is your Wednesday Wake Up with the Teach Better team for Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. We are live right now on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and LinkedIn. And most importantly at all, today is my wife Amy's birthday. So it's a holiday. So we're celebrating. Uh, we're going to talk we about some stuff. We're probably going to. What's that? We wear birthday hats. We should have wore birthday Ugh. hats, but we don't. So if you were watching, um, please go get a birthday hat. Uh, mm. also, and if you are watching live, please drop in the comments. Let us know where you're watching live from. What are you doing? When you get ready for work? Are you already at work? Are you sneaking into like an office to, to hang out with me and Katie? Are you on your way to work? If that's the case, don't text in there. Tell us later. Um, and if you're listening on the podcast later, thank you for listening. We appreciate that. This does go up onto the Teach Better Talk podcast as well. Katie's going to have a sip of her coffee. I'm going to try to find a birthday hat. And we'll be back in, I don't know, 17 seconds or so. <laughs> Welcome back. We're live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and LinkedIn. Wednesday, wake up. I did not find a birthday hat. I didn't have that much time. It was 17 seconds. I'm like, do I have a hat? I'm like, I was going to be impressed hat if you just had around. Right. Like most people don't have one laying around, but if you did, I think you were going to get brownie points. But... <laughs> if I just had a random birthday, I'm like, do I have anything that I could put on? I don't. So the real question is, do you have something to put on like later when you celebrate her birthday? No, I don't. Um, Come on. No, we are. We're doing some. She she has not been able to give us her decision on what she wants for dinner tonight or for her like cake okay. and stuff. So we're going to be winging that today later whenever she finally tells me. We are doing a dinner thing on Saturday. We're going out as a family and stuff. But yeah, um, we'll do gifts. We'll do a gift gift tonight. Although she's hard to buy for because she doesn't want anything. Mm. She's super. Is she she's. Is she the type that just like if she wants it, she just buys it for herself? No, it's the complete opposite. Like she just never gets anything for herself. She has get she'll get gift cards and like never. I have to like force her to spend gift cards. She's like, tell me oh. what that's like. I, I, I went and spent my like. gift. Well, I, I remember so many times where she come home, and she was like upset with herself because like she spent like twenty five dollars because she had to pay a little bit more than the gift cards, but she got like nine shirts, six pairs of pants, and a, I'm like, what? Why are you apologizing? I don't, I don't get um, this. I don't get she this does way. better. She has two two things that she just will get when she wants. One is Pup Active. If you don't know the Pup Active brand, they're an awesome brand. It's all about dogs. Down in uh, they're out of base out of Florida. Two women that are awesome, okay. and um, they've they've actually hooked us up a few times, a couple times for her birthday. When I'm like, hey, I have no idea what she doesn't own. Can you? And they're like, we looked at her account. She owns everything. So here's something that we've never sold before. And like. Oh, that's Fine. Um, so she will just buy that if she if when it, they have something new comes out she'll buy that and then she has she's in a group on Facebook that's like it's a woman who gets like bulk deals on clothes so then she'll like model them and then you can like uh, something within the comments or whatever it's like when yeah. I'm not sure exactly how it works those are the only two things that she'll just like if she wants it, she'll buy it but it's like not that much here and there but she doesn't ever want anything like I have to like wow. Wow. She'll be like, hey, you should want cool stuff so I can buy you cool stuff. But she doesn't. So we'll hey, see. Hey, Jeff. Jeff, if you just want to yeah. buy cool stuff. You want cool stuff. I will always take cool stuff. Yeah, she is um <laughs> extremely um low maintenance. Well, good. Which is probably good because I'm pretty sure I'm high maintenance. Well, we were <laughs> gonna say that. It is <laughs> only 6 a.m. my time, so it wasn't anyway. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We good have so morning, many everyone. We've got a lot of people dropping in the comments. Man, people good are bright morning, eyed and bushy tailed for Amy's birthday today. I assume that's why they're here. Is Amy's birthday? They wanted to hear about her wish list. The, she's at the first meeting of all the national teachers of the year. Wow. I'm not to that comment yet. It's early here. Good morning, Janelle. Good morning, Megan. Lori. Lori, drive safe. Everyone dropping in. Yeah. There's um. So many yeah. People. So so a lot of a lot of good stuff going. So obviously Valentine's Day was just. Did you do anything for Valentine's Day? No. And here's the thing, Jeff. <clears throat> Valentine's is one of my favorite holidays. Here's why. Only because it's the it's the day that everyone talks about how much they love each other and everyone is so nice. 
you know, it's like people are like leaving cute notes, people like give Valentine's. So it has nothing to do with the stereotypical, like, I don't really care about chocolate. I do like flowers. I did make sure that Matt had flowers, but <clears throat> so it is when you not- say that you said, I like flowers. So I made sure Matt, had, like you made sure that he got you flowers yes, or you got 100%. him flowers. I am that person because there that have been make few- sure that yes. he gets you what you want. Oh, Jeff, have you met me? I'm a very blunt person. So all it took was a couple years of him forgetting for me to realize he just needed to be told. So. So, yes. Our, our, our Valentine's was me going out yesterday mid morning um, after our administrator mastermind and mm-hmm. getting a couple things for the kids because okay. Apparently we've done that in the past and Jacqueline reminded me. So we got him a couple little things. They were thrilled last night, yesterday when they got home. And then at, before I went to bed, I told Amy happy Valentine's Day. And that was it. Well, well we got we got her stuff. The kids got her stuff. Got okay, so it. yours wasn't a whole lot more exciting. We had dance and Matt and I both played in the indoor volleyball league. So the kids had McDonald's and I had a box of mac and cheese. Hey, so now box. you can under heck yeah, I ate the whole box. I mean, it was like, like you know, like it was the one of those, size box. No, it was like one of those organic ones. So, I you know, like, I feel like the organic ones always are like really kind of half. I don't think they're actually organic. I think they just give you less. That's, <laughs> That's what's theory. organic about it. <laughs> so, so yes. Oh, Andrew wants to know if I hugged Matt. Maybe. They, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Did Andrew his, is very concerned about my ability to hug. Did his did Matt's warmness melt your cold heart, or did it? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Like in the Santa Claus Three, where her hugs melt frost. Anyway, I don't, yeah. moving I on. I enjoy lot. that Megan is saying that she's just now processing that this is Katie, not Ray. <laughs> That's how early it is. So yes, if anybody's wondering, this is Katie. It's not Ray. Hi um, guys. Good morning. Well, good morning. It's good to see all you all. Um, it is an exciting Wednesday. Um, it is. It is early. It's always early on these Wednesdays. And I got, I don't know if I, I got up like forever ago. I got up really early, but craft is the best. I, me too. That's what I was talking about, like the family size. Okay, but sure, Andrea. Andrea said in the comments, craft is the best. I can eat the entire box of that. I'm not saying I can't eat the entire box. I was just stating, stating what you did eat, which was organic. Right. And it makes, it makes it okay, I guess, that you ate the whole box. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what I told myself when I ate the whole box. <laughs> Dave wants to, Dave says, Katie, are you in Ray's house and wearing her clothes? Which is hilarious because <laughs> if those of you maybe are, didn't catch that or are maybe listening and not watching, Katie's bat like wall is almost the exact same color as Ray's. So a lot of times it looks like they're in the same room and you are in black, which is a pretty typical Ray outfit. Can so I just say I actually did, Dave. I did put this on because I knew that the chances of you wearing black were slim compared to if I was on live with her. That's true. So like, yeah, I've been I've been trying to wear a little more color recently. Yes. And, and so I was like, oh, today. I can wear my black shirt today because Ray won't be there. I'm just saying, like anybody, if you're watching right now and you're someone who enjoys commenting and getting into this stuff, Dave is currently the one to beat. He is definitely winning right now as far as the comment game goes. So um, not to mention this and that, you know. So yeah. Anyway. Um, good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. We're almost nine minutes in, and I don't think we've said anything of any kind of substance or importance so far, other than the fact that it's my wife's birthday. So if you get a chance, wish my wife, Amy, if you're connected to her, um, she's, she's birthday in today. Um, and for her birthday, she's going to go play with dogs and cats because that's what she does for a living. Anyway, like Jeff, D- Dave, yes, this is in fact a Meyer shirt. It's super comfortable too. You know, I, I love that I can get such good, nice, comfortable shirts at the yes. store that I buy my milk at. It's true. It's true. It is a nice, convenient factor. It's I'm I'm it's wearing pants that are also from Meyer, and they're so comfortable. Your day I just got a pair success. of like eighty dollars jeans, and these ten dollars jeans are more comfortable, and they look identical. If I put them up, you would Did not I be able really? to tell me which one. I guarantee you, you well, would not be able to tell me which one. Can you do a side by side today on Insta? I yeah maybe I'll, yeah I'll put I'll lay them down and take a picture and people can guess which one is which. Joshua Samper is very into outfit of the days. He's not really, but he him and I joke about it. <laughs> and really. I think that you should do that. I think you should do a side. So I actually side. did. 
I actually did like a, a, a cloth, uh, clothes and haul video on my TikTok when I got, cause I did my first stitch fix. Cause yes. Josh and Josh and Ray made fun of me while we were at FETC. Cause I don't have style. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, fine, I'll get stitch fix and see if they can fix me. And the best part was the, the two shirts that they sent were like literally this pattern, just different color shirts. <laughs> And You're three like, times as expensive. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. How I do like them though. I really like the outfit that comes. So I did a little video of that. But yeah, I'll have to do that. I'll I'll do a uh I'll do a, a side by side and see. Because I'd be interested to see if anybody else, if if it's just me, maybe it's just me. Maybe want everyone else be like, that's clearly the 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 Meyer brand. That's clearly not. Yeah, make sure you don't have tags. Like you can't see any little I won't have to, yeah, I'll, I won't, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that they're not you can't tell. I okay, mean, so Jeff, anyway. I'm all I'm all for a good bargain, like Sam's Club, <sighs> Meyer, yeah. oh, yeah. you, you know, whatever, yeah. whatever. Listen, you. my, my style has always been whatever is comfortable and I appreciate easy. that about I try you. to go easy. But, but with that said, I actually have like, there's a little bit of, con I, that's not actually accurate. I think it's whatever's comfortable. But I also like very much, I do try to care about what I'm doing, but I don't, I don't have great style. So a lot of times, that's why a lot of times I go black with jeans. Cause it's yeah. easy. I'm yeah. like, I know this matches cause it's black and jeans. Right. <laughs> anyway. Easy. Costco's finest says Megan. I love it. Um, okay, so a couple things that we, we need to talk about. We need to do a few things. We have our teachable moment. We're gonna do that. We're gonna talk about yeah. some stuff. We're gonna highlight a community member. We got a challenge. Um, before we jump into that, though, I wanted to celebrate the fact we also have a new course launched today. Brand new. It's yes. free to free course in the academy. Yes. Um, launched an email is probably haven't gone on yet out yet. I actually don't even know if Josh has officially clicked in the launch button yet because it's earlier for Josh than it is for me. Um, although he's in the comments right now. So, um, so oh I don't gosh. know, Josh, let us know is the course. Have you pushed the button yet? Like, is it officially out there yet? Um, it might be, but anyway, it's a free course. So if you have the Academy membership, it's going to be in your, my courses anyway. Yep. If not, it's free. You'll be able to get it. Emails and stuff will be going out later. It is called remind me of the title. Cause you know, the title you just, I, we just had promoting, this. promoting your work, promoting right? your work. Yes. Promoting your work. Yes. <laughs> promoting your work. Is, Oh, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. You go. Well, you, I, you I was going to say, <laughs> I was just going to say that I, I thought it was really interesting when we planned this course, Ray immediately was like, I have an idea for this. And she kind of wanted to run with it. And so this morning when you and I were talking and I was like, you know, I, she kind of took it and ran with it. I didn't necessarily did. like, like follow all the details like I typically would with the course, but now, you know, like I was looking at stuff as we were getting ready and it's so interesting that it took us this long to create a course for this because it's something that is like relevant to educators mm -hmm. and has been forever. So promoting your work is literally just that it's educators promoting what they do. Yeah. And I love this. I mean, a lot of times what I speak on, if I go to conferences stuff is increasing your impact by sharing your story, right. which is what this course is about yes. promoting your work. And, and it covers, and this is, this is so obviously Ray leads it. Um, and this is, she's covering from like, I have an idea to how do I get it out into the world and share it to share value. And this covering anything from, I'm going to start writing a blog or yeah. I'm literally going to start tweeting more <laughs> or putting yeah. out on Instagram to do, I'm writing a book and I need to put it out or I'm creating yeah. online courses or I'm building curriculum materials or I'm launching a side hustle and like going after a business. Like it, it covers regardless mm -hmm. of where you fall on that spectrum. If you're trying to share what you do and the work you do in any way, this course can, can help you do that. She walks step-by-step step on what you need to be thinking about the pieces you need to be looking at timelines, um, tips. There's a lot of, there's a bunch of downloadable pieces and mm -hmm. checklists and things like that. So um, really great course. It is weird that it took us this long to put this one out. Um, mm -hmm. but it's out there now and that's what matters Katie that's true and I will so. say too Jeff as like an educator that this is something I struggled with all the time because so often we kind of just get in our classrooms and we just like hit the ground running and we just go you know and we don't necessarily even think about talking about what we're doing or if we're doing something mm -hmm. on the side you know I know I worked with tons of educators in my district that were working at the university on the side or they were going to speaking engagements or they were writers and all of those things I feel like go unnoticed. And it's kind of sad because there are so many things that teachers do outside of their classrooms. And so I think it's, it's really cool that she gives people kind of a platform and opportunity to like 
kind of pat yourself on the back and say like, Hey, I'm really cool. Not just in my classroom. I'm doing really cool stuff elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So I think cheers to that. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it, it kind of gives you a little bit of permission too to be yes. like it's okay. And I think that's a lot of times with educators, I, I say all the time, it takes it takes a, a different type of person to become a teacher. And the one of the biggest pieces that is that serving mentality. And yeah. oftentimes we start thinking, well, I'm serving. I I serve. I serve. I serve. I don't want to talk about me. I don't want to share yeah. me. I don't. I don't feel like I'm promoting stuff. But the way I look at that is that thing that you do, that little thing that you wrote or that you put together or that you do in your classroom, whatever it is, that little thing could be something that literally changes the way someone else teaches yeah. or the way someone else leads or the way someone else learns and could really, really impact them. So that is a way for you to serve even more than what you are right now. So I encourage you, if you're doing anything like that, take mm -hmm. the course, learn about it um, and, and keep sharing the awesome things that you're doing. So. That's over at teachbetteracademy.com um, yeah. as soon as Josh clicks the publish button. So it's like ready to roll. It just, you know, it's early think, still. Yeah, it's, he needs it's probably the AM Eastern time that we actually like that. That's mm -hmm. like our goal to do that stuff. Emails go out soon uh, later. Um, be sure to to tweet at and, and or tag her on Instagram, uh, yeah. Ray, and tell her good job on that. She did just take it and run. Yeah. We and, and just put it together. So and if um, nothing else, Jeff, she's wearing color in the videos she's yeah, not wearing for black. no other reason you should watch for that yeah yes okay all right let's get into let's talk about some uh, teachable moment here Welcome back to your Wednesday Wake Up with Teach Better team. We are still live on Facebook, yeah. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and LinkedIn, and on the Teach Better Talk podcast. Thanks for dropping in with us this morning. Hopefully, your Wednesday is off to a great start. Uh, Katie, I mean, one of the things we, that we do... What, it what? should be off to a great start because they're spending it with us. That's a good point. You know, I'm glad you're here, Katie. I'm um, here, I didn't, Jeff. I'm so excited that you're here. I didn't even ask why Ray is slacking off this morning and not here. I'm just... It doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm matter. just excited. Um, I fired her. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that we do on Wednesdays is try and take away, give away some sort of ideas, uh, teachable moment, tactical tip, uh, yep. whatever thought process here. And we were talking before and something that I, I was kind of hoping you could speak on a little bit, um, you know, with the Super Bowl just happening um, and Valentine's Day literally being yesterday. Curious if you could talk a little bit about some of the ways in which we can use current events holidays stuff going on either from a you know, international level national level state level or even community level yeah. how do we bring these things into our classroom um in an effective manner that we can uh keep our kids aware of and interested in the things happening in our world but also still tying it to our curriculum can you can you speak to that a little bit and kind of take yeah. us on a ride here yeah absolutely so you know that this is a a Sometimes a tricky conversation, Jeff, because I think it depends on what you teach. And you know, I taught math. So sometimes current events didn't directly align to proportions or mm -hmm. to, you know, algebraic equations. Sure. But I think the easiest, like simplest way is just start your class with some sort of intro. Um, you know, my jam is talking about the first five minutes and how to make kind of a big impact. And so to me, it, putting something on your board, put a picture of a uh, you know, a screenshot of one of the commercials from the Super Bowl or a news clip or just put something up and just start the first few minutes with just kind of having a conversation. If you teach older grades, that's going to look a little different at younger grades, but you can just kind of have an open forum. You can do a circle and, um, you know, kind of what does this picture mean to you or what have you heard about this and really just kind of start it that way, have a few minutes discussion and then slowly transition into your class if you're not, if you don't teach something that necessarily directly aligns, because I think the using the excuse that, you know, I teach, you know, science or I teach something that doesn't directly align is kind of an easy cop out because we can all mm -hmm. talk about current events. We're all educators. We're here to educate, not just on the, the standards that are given to us. And so I think it's our job to make sure that we're telling students about what's going on in the world and how deep you get into it is up to you and how much time you have. But mm -hmm. I think just even just having something simple up, I used to teach language arts. And um, so that was essentially writing. And so if we had something big, 
for example, the Super Bowl, um, I would often try to align my curriculum to be, have like my persuasive unit be a right around the Super Bowl. And we would talk about commercials and persuasion mm -hmm. and, you know, incorporate all of that. So you could easily do it with something like that, where you kind of look ahead, like, okay, what's a big event that's coming up? What's a holiday that's coming up? How can I directly align it? Um, but I think tying it in is something we talk about all the time. We've had mm -hmm. a ton of courses about how you can make things relevant in real life. But <clears throat> I think it's important, no matter big or small, how in-depth you get into it, you have to at least introduce the idea. You have to at least bring it to them because some kids, the only information they're getting is on Snapchat or on TikTok. And so you do want to make sure that you, you know, continue to give them mm -hmm. other perspectives and other outlets. Yeah. And I love the fact that you're talking about like it, it, it doesn't have to blend in and connect yeah. directly to the curriculum and because they can be really hard to align your curriculum on something yes. that happened last night. Right. That, you know, right. should be talked about. And, and I think at the very least, if you if you bring it up in the morning and you're, or at the start, right, in those first five minutes and you're having the conversations, you're waking up their mm -hmm. their brains. You're waking up their critical thinking because now they're having mm -hmm. conversations, they're form forming opinions. So even if they're getting ready to then just go into a 40 yeah. minutes of doing math, like right. their mind's working because who knows what where their minds were when they were in the mm -hmm. hallways and getting in and stuff like that. You're getting them in the, into a critical thinking. They're communicating, they're collaborating. Yeah. It could just be that opportunity to have conversations mm -hmm. and stuff. And I think you're right. I think too often we go, well, I can't, how do I, I can't connect this. So I don't have time to connect this because right, it's just right. happened. So we just, I won't, won't do it. Well, you can, you can still bring it in. I love, uh, I, I do want to know, Andrea mentioned there was a great conversation last week about how uh, in our, in the Facebook group, if you're not in the Facebook group, mm -hmm. go to teachbettergroup.com or just search Teach Better Team on Facebook. And we're, it's one of the two things that pop up, but there's a lot of great conversation going on on how people were actually incorporated in the Super Bowl in their classes. Yeah. To your point, Things like the Super Bowl or something that you can plan for. Yes. Um, so, Katie, did you like it, like say, I don't know, in July, August, when you were starting to think about the next school year, do you often look at the year and go, okay, what are my holidays? What are the big events? Is there, are there elections this year? So on and so forth. And look and go like, all right, what are the, some of the things that I can incorporate or think through to do so? Obviously, you did a little bit because you tried to line your persuasive unit up. Right. Football, right. So is that something you do would do every year? Or that just I'm going to be honest. No, That's okay. yeah. <laughs> I didn't. <clears throat> and I'm going to be honest, Jeff. I, I was not, I, I knew my curriculum, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there who can kind of plan and they know this is what I'm covering each mm -hmm. week throughout the year. That was not me. I really let the kids kind of guide it. So some years we would get to something by a certain holiday and other years we were nowhere near it. So I had ideas. Um, I always did a big activity around Thanksgiving because, you know, it was a shorter week and stuff. Mm -hmm. So there were certain things I did and I had on the back burner. And if it happened great and if it didn't naturally align, I didn't force it. Um, but it was where I really kind of found true value, honestly, was the things that were like that year only. So those current events that happened mm -hmm. in the news, because those were the things that were real. And those were the things that were on the forefront of students' mind. Because sometimes, you know, doing a Valentine's Day activity eight times in a kid's day, like kind of loses this excitement. Sure. Yeah. So, Especially when they've done that every single year, right? Yes, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I tried to have like kind of a, a bank of ideas that I could fold in, especially mm -hmm. if they were kids that really enjoyed it. You know, we all have those kids, those years that they eat every fun activity up. They love every holiday. Yep. And then other years they're like, oh, really? <laughs> so I just tried to have that. But um yeah, those like, honestly, those first five minutes I felt like was so impactful because especially if you teach a class that students can't, they don't find as much success. So if you teach mm -hmm. a subject that some kids really struggle with, like math, you're talking about something that everyone can have a piece of the conversation. So whether they watch the news that morning, whether this is the first part mm -hmm. that they, you know, the first time they've heard of it, whether they just heard something on the bus, they can have they can be a part of the conversation and it kind of gets yeah. them invited into your classroom. Well, if you started with your content, they may not feel as welcome. It's, it's a potential for a small win to happen right yes. off the bat and get yes. them in the mindset of, Oh, I can, I can, I can do things. I, you know, yes. Um, yeah, I, I think that's, that's powerful. I, I wonder in, I don't know if you I'm just, my mind's going like, is if reserving time at the, at the start of your day to allow them to bring the current events that are on their mind, that were being talked about on the bus, that did pop up on TikTok, that they're going, 
you know, Miss Miglin, what, a, what, a, what about this or yeah. whatever? Well, you may be a little off, not necessarily um, informed on the topic. I think even that conversation, yes. you can learn so much about your kids because they're going to tell you right there what's important and what's not. Right. Um, and maybe wake, maybe open your eyes to something that you need to be paying attention to, right? right? Good or bad, right? Um, and so I think there's a lot of value there. Uh, someone said about first five minutes, wake up the brain and a great way to build community. Like that is like, that's how, and that's, there's also an opportunity there for the kids to realize that that other class, maybe that maybe they don't have as much interaction with actually has a, a similar beliefs or yes. uh, passions that they do or communicates the way they do, you know, and stuff like that. I think there's a lot of opportunity there. So I, I think anytime you just get your kids talking yes, and, and, and you know what I mean? Forming opinions and communicating with each other, regardless of your subject matter, that's powerful. Well, and I think you have to be real in the moment of like understanding where they're at. You know, there's been times where there was some big issue that happened in the news, like nationally. And I knew every teacher was going to talk about it. And when they walked into my room, it, I didn't get the sense they wanted to keep talking about it. Whether, mm -hmm. you know, it was whatever it was there, you know, there's been a, a variety of things that have been hot topics. So I think kind of reading the room and as, not assuming they always want to talk about it. Now, especially mm -hmm. if, if you teach kids that they don't ever really leave elementary and they're in your room all day, I do think it's important to at least bring it up a little bit, but if they don't seem to be interested, I think move on. Don't force it because, sure. yeah. you know, then it's kind of like, it doesn't feel as authentic, mm -hmm. but I think if they kind of come in with some energy and they want to talk about something, give them that space, give them that time to talk about it because your curriculum can wait 10 minutes for them to get that out because they're going to remember that conversation much longer than they'll remember, you know, your, your lesson. Mm. I like it. Okay. Why don't we wait? I do about, have a really okay. important question. I have an important. I'm question. like getting ready to transition, and then you interrupt an me question. here. What's your question? What was your favorite commercial of the Super Bowl? Oh. Ooh. Um, See, worth it. I think I like. I really enjoyed the. Um, uh, what was it? Two uh, was it? Two B TV, two B whatever. The ones that they made it. Uh, they made it look like your channel was being oh, changed. Yes. Um, what, which one was it? With two B? Is that what yeah, it was? Yeah, it was two B. Yeah, like I I thought that was brilliant marketing because it like they and then and then what they've done since I don't know if you what like their team has continued to put out all the videos that people have shared like all the tweets people freaking out but there's people literally yelling at their family members because they thought someone sat on it right because there, there's one of like a guy getting a drink and like. The family's on a couch and he's screaming at him because he's like, I was grabbing a beer or whatever. And you just changed the channel from the Super Bowl, really? Um, and like, which obviously you don't want families getting in a fight, but like the That's emotional, funny. like knowing that that was uh, really brilliant marketing. I'm trying to think of the other ones that I got pumped up about the, the new Flash movie. Um, I just happened yes. like I, I've started rewatching the Flash TV series because I watched oh, yeah. like the first couple seasons and then I stopped. So I'm like, I'm going to start from the beginning again. So like I'm in Flash mode. Um, and the fact that Michael Keaton's back as Batman is awesome. I'm not a fan of the, yeah. the guy who they hired to, to play the Flash, but I'm going to get past that. Yeah. Good. And the fact that Michael Keaton's back uh, is pretty awesome. But the, the two big commercials, I'm trying to think of the other. I don't know that a whole lot of other ones stood out to me honestly i like the you? dunkin donuts one the dunkin donuts with ben affleck and oh yeah um, that was a good one too yeah that was a good one. i thought it was funny give that me a glaze a yeah that was a good one too yes <laughs> and the halftime show I, the halftime show yep i i thought it was pretty legit not gonna lie it was pretty yeah. cool um it i was talking to him about this it's interesting because like if you know rihanna like her name is rihanna like that's how mm -hmm. you say her name like and she has said that multiple times and i'm like why when you're on literally the biggest stage on tv that would be a great opportunity for her to be like hey can you all pronounce my name correctly but i think she's just finally was i i, I at some point i assume in the last 20 years she was just like you know what it was well, rihanna's my stage name that is what it is right well um, i don't think that's her actual name though i think it's she's got two, uh, it's like i'm not sure i just know that i i've seen multiple clips of her like saying yes it's rihanna and i was just like oh that wasn't that was an interesting thing for me but then the fact i, I thought the performance was good i hate that the lip sync i do she's, too. Got, a, she's got a beautiful voice she's got a great but voice. i think it's i i read it's hard there's a lot of logistical reasons yeah. why there's a lot of logistical reasons yeah. why um but i just still hate and it and she's um, pregnant let's talk about that apparently that was confirmed yeah, yeah I, which makes her the first pregnant person to ever perform uh which and kind of amazing like 
I don't know how far along she is, but the fact that like she's doing anything when she's oh, just yeah. pregnant, like I, imagine standing on that platform so high in the air. Nope, I wouldn't do that. Not pregnant. I was gonna say pregnant <laughs> or not, that's still. <laughs> I did see somebody who, because the, so there are certain times that someone did like the um, it's like Super Mario Smash Brothers because. <laughs> The game, there's the platform where you're jumping and stuff. I did actually I had, like think Rihanna that. with like with all, all the points and stuff. Um, because that always happens. But I uh, yeah, super cool, super cool uh, performance. I always enjoy just seeing like what they do because it's hard. Like how do you top things, right? And you can't. You just gotta right. kind of make it your own thing. Um, but I I just wish I just hate the lip sync and it bothers me, especially when you know that that the performer is good and they're good live and they have a good well. Voice, I think that's you know, where they're at. Like but, it's like get somebody that everyone knows is good so that when the lip syncing has to happen, it's like mm, whatever. Maybe, but I don't know. Yeah, I. Anyway. I was. I mean, I only watched till halftime. I want that to be clear. And then you were done. Absolutely. <laughs> I do I, wake up and ask who won. So I do care about the ending. I just don't care about watching. I was just, I wanted a good game and it was a pretty, it was kind of a weak ending. Like I hate, you know, was, uh, you know, properly played by, by the chiefs to win and stuff like that. But like, not like, I was kind of like, uh, mm -hmm. you, you want like that. You wanted, I really wanted the drive to win, you know, like the last yes. bomb to like happen. And, but it was a good game up to there. A lot of, a lot of scoring and stuff like that. So that's, yeah. that's a positive. So anyway, okay. Can we highlight someone from our community? Please. All right, let's do that. Welcome back to the Wednesday Wake Up with Teach Better Team. We are Katie still live. On Facebook, hey. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and LinkedIn, and on Teach not live on the Teach Better Talk podcast, but recorded. Um, and they haven't kicked us off. This is shocking. They have not yet. We're not there yet. Now, in a in a in a week ish, a little over a week, when we're live for a long time, they'll try to kick us off at a certain point. They will. which is why we have to do two streams. Jeff, what are you talking about? Just I'm talking about when we go 12 hours live. On the I have to be on with you for 12 hours. Well, you that's don't have to be on here for 12 that's hours. Either like do you. Team, neither yeah. do I. I'm actually going to come live with Ray that morning, go and then go coach a soccer game, and then come back and have about an hour before I have to jump back on live again. So I got no, I got plenty of time, but it's going to be fun to – I got to like wow. rush out of here after and then go. So luckily you're here, and I don't have to be here all the time anymore. The real question is how many costume changes are you going to have? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. I'll have to I'm talk to Josh about Stamper it. about how many costumes and what my costume should be and why I'm calling it a costume. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to be like the, the Red Power Ranger. Um, we should. You know I've been wanting to do Spirit Days. <gasps> Can we do a Spirit Day for 12 hours long? <laughs> How mad would Ray be if I showed up on one of the uh, segments there and I'm just like, I am Batman. Like, and I'm just done up and... Can I show up as ketchup? <laughs> yeah, be, it's, it's, please do. I have so many um, costumes. Uh, so let's talk about that really briefly. Uh, on the 25th, which is next Saturday, so a week from this Saturday, mm -hmm. right? We will be live yeah. 12 hours from okay. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and we do have to actually do two streams about midway through the day. Yeah. We have to like start and stop or stop and start again because there's just uh, I can't remember which one. I think it's Facebook only allows you to go about eight hours. Yep. But 12 hours of free professional development, a little bit of something for everyone. Um, kind of cut into two different sort of not themes, but like focuses. Kind of, yeah. Where the, the earlier half is focused on quick, actionable takeaways that you can take and literally put in place on Monday morning. And then the second yep. half is really diving a little deeper into things, a lot, um, largely things that we do as a team yep. that you may not always get access to the deeper dives. So we're going to really deep dive into those things. So, um, I'm excited about the way we did it and I'm excited to see how everyone responds to it. We also have over 50 different giveaways that are going on throughout the day. A lot of which you can um, just submit a form to be uh, entered yeah. in to win, but then a few throughout the day that you have to be live to, to win as well. So a lot of, a lot of cool stuff going on. Some really awesome people coming on too. Oh yeah. So that's, that's on 25th. Obviously that's free. It's live streamed everywhere that we're on right now. It'll be live streamed there. So Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, all the all that yeah. nonsense. 
Um, and you don't have to be here with us all day. That's a long time to commit to the team. We would love for you to be here all 12 hours, but you can drop in and out the entire day and we will love you yeah. just the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. You covered it all. You did Is that good? Job. Am I good? All right. That was our, that was our 12 hour live tour. So let's talk about this guy. Elijah! I decided, so we like to highlight someone from the community each week. And I'm like, who are going to highlight? We have so many awesome people. And I just actually happen to have a, 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 one of many, many interactions with Elijah recently. And I'm like, I don't think we've ever highlighted him. And if we had, we did, who cares? We're doing it again. So Elijah, Elijah has been connected with us for a long time. I don't even mm-hmm. know how we initially got connected or how long it's been. Um, but I know that you, you mm-hmm. are claiming that you two are best friends after the conference. So, <laughs> um, so Elijah's in, uh, New Mexico. He's a reading intervention, uh, spe- interventionist. Um, he is an author of a book. He's got his yes. book came out, I think in October, a place they love book. It's on Amazon. Now you can go get it. Um, that's with Edumats, our good friends over there. He is, uh, he started and, and leads the shut up and teach podcast, a uh, passionate educator, uh, just a good guy uh, who I am severely angry at that I missed at our conference when I missed it. Um, uh, you I, didn't just miss him. I heard he showed up in, in style too. Oh, 100%. A so tell us about – okay, so Katie, tell us about your interactions with, with Elijah at the conference in a little bit so everyone can understand how awesome he is a little bit more. He was so nice. So – Many people, when I met them in person, they're like, oh, you're the person that emails every day because I do, I do send a lot of emails to all the speakers and presenters Mm -hmm. and they were so sweet. Him and his wife were so sweet. And they were like, we read your emails every day. We love them. You know, other people were like, oh, I delete them. Cool. But they were so nice. I don't like your name. (laughs) Right. They're like, oh yeah, you're in my trash. Um, But no, he was so sweet. And they were just like, just radiated passion and positively. And then they show up and they're dressed full pirate, like full on pirate. And it was for their presentation and they rocked it. Like anytime they walked by, I couldn't stop laughing because they just were like straight face. Like this is normal that you're like just walking around like a pirate. And it was just, it was awesome. So Elijah is fantastic his wife tracy is also fantastic she was really upset when the conference was over her and i had a long conversation about how she wanted me to still send her weekly emails because she wasn't sure what she was going to be able to read every week so i did send her a couple weekly emails just to say good morning (laughs) but they both honestly both of them are so like sweet and just such good like educators but then elijah's book was out and that was so fun to be able to celebrate with him and just he's just such a nice person you know when you meet someone and you're like i don't really need to talk to you a lot because i just know you're so nice that's mm-hmm. elijah 100 percent. love it so his, his twitter's up there you can follow it's at carba eli c-a-r-b-a e-l-i for those that are listening and not watching uh go give him a follow connect with him go get his book um yeah. and they are yeah they are they're an awesome duo and Who actually well, they didn't meet at our I mean, conference. The, they, yeah. they came to the 2019 conference together as colleagues yep. and left as more than colleagues. And now they're married. And it's such a, we did that. I can't remember when I was live with them and they told us the entire story. I think it was leading up. I don't know when it was, but it was awesome. Um, it's oh, it must have been live. one of their lives. For I think it was like something promoting, promoting the, conference, the conference, possibly, yeah. possibly last summer. I, I, I assume is when it was, but yeah, I remember them telling the story. It's awesome. So, um, so Elijah, we love you, brother. Um, yeah. Happy to be connected to you. Um, oh, we got an update on the course. Um, if you received the email this this morning about the course, click the link and you have access to Ray's new course. It is free, Woo-hoo! so you just get it and you get in. If you are, if you do have the membership, um, that gets ad- ad- automatically added to yours right uh, right away, assuming that Josh did it correctly. Um, so that should be in your my courses um, <laughs> dashboard really quick as well. Um, which, by the way, just I'll do I'll do a promotion. Like if you don't know, for nine dollars a month, you can get all of our courses, all of the free courses, and all the paid courses, everything that is already in the academy, which is literally thousands and thousands of dollars worth of courses. Um, and you'll get all the new ones right away as well. So, uh, you know, nine bucks a month it takes a long time to catch up to how much <laughs> value and how much money is actually in that co- the courses that you get yeah. in. So. For real. All right. So we, we, we talked about stuff. We did. That was good. We talked about Elijah. So we checked those two things off. I think the last thing we need to do today is 
give a challenge to our audience as okay. a good way to finish the week. So I'm gonna I'm putting that on you. I'm I'm taking my time getting into so you can think of this challenge as we get there. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna send them off on their way for an awesome um Wednesday, if that is okay with you. I mean, it sounds wonderful. Have I extended this out long enough for you to think of a challenge for our friends? Got it. You have 16 more seconds. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wednesday Wake Up with Katie Meglin. I am Jeff, her sidekick. And Katie is currently still live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, <laughs> Twitch, and LinkedIn, although with this, she might not want to be. Um, Josh told me that we needed to be funny. And I was like, Josh, we're naturally funny. We need to be funny? Yeah, I think there's he... a lot of funny stuff about us, whether we're trying to be or not. I think it just happens. Right, because we're just awesome. Yeah, I wasn't necessarily saying that in a good thing. But yeah, sure, we'll, oh, we'll go with that. I'll okay, so. A compliment. Thanks, Jeff. All right, are, is, our, is, our, is our challenge going? Is it connecting to something we've already talked about? Are we coming out yes. of left field? Or, okay, no, it is. Okay. no, you don't. I, I don't like that. So our field. challenge is for everyone to go get their best pirate outfit. Yes. No. No. Mm -mm, okay. Nope. Um, challenge, the challenge is for everyone to Venmo me five to ten dollars so I can get Amy a really cool birthday present. Mm -mm. Did you want to do the challenge or did you want me to come up? I had a couple ideas, but I guess they're uh, not good enough. Maybe, yeah, maybe go back to the drawing book. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Kate. Um, what's so what's the our challenge, challenge for the week? The challenge is there has been a lot of stuff. We talked about Super Bowl, <laughs> Valentine's Day, different things happening just in the news, good or bad. So find a way to tie something current event relative in the world right now into your classroom this week and just spend five minutes talking about it in your class and see what happens. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, and if you do that, we would love to hear how it goes. So you can tweet yes. at Teach Better Team or at Jeff Gargas or at Mrs. K Miggs. Yep. Um, and let us know, uh, use hashtag Teach Better so that we can find it as well. But let us know, like, did you try something? If so, what did you try? How'd it go? Um, and you can hit us on Twitter or uh, um, Instagram, wherever you mm -hmm. hang out. I like it. I like it. Try yep. something. And that's not a big ask, honestly. No, you could not do it literally ask. today. Not a big risk. Yeah, no. I love it. And um, if you, if you need, need help figuring it out, let us know. Yes. And if you need something to talk about, like, it is it is Amy's birthday. So, like, mm, pretty pretty big, yes. big news. Okay. Yeah. This. Which, by the way, also, if you have any ideas of what I should get her, shoot me a shoot me a message and let me know what I should buy my wife. I assume she already has a picture of the Teach Better team. Oh, well, yeah, it's her screen, like on her phone. Oh, good. I actually already got her stuff, but she's really hard to buy for. I'm just if you like. I mean, what do you do? How do? What do you get the woman who has everything you could ever want? Okay, is this right? show over? Are we getting kicked off yet? <laughs> <laughs> this show is over. Uh, we appreciate you all. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Um, have an amazing weekend uh, or week. And as Katie said, if you need anything, any help with, with the challenge or anything else, please, please reach out to us. Let us know. We're here for you. If you're not already in the Facebook group, make sure you jump in there. If you haven't already subscribed to the podcast, make sure you do that as well. And really appreciate a review and a rating on that as well. And we will see you Sunday for the Sunday warm up. Ooh, big announcements and exciting stuff on Sunday. That is this Sunday. I will be live with Ray this Sunday for some excited stuff. Um, if you don't follow Ray, Ray's been um, um, yeah, you know, a little uh, 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 -huh. uh, reckless with her um, yeah. teasing she of has. what's going on Sunday. So if you want to get ahead of the game, go check out Ray's Instagram, and we're gonna go yell at her. Yep. Uh, but appreciate you all. Have an amazing, amazing uh, Wednesday and the rest of your week, and we will see you on Sunday. Bye, guys. <laughs>